Measuring for Placement of a Postpyloric Tube by Susan Hamilton and Julia Perkins. The first thing that we want to do in order to place a tube is to actually make the measurements. I'm going to use the styleted feeding tube. If I was only going to the stomach, I would start with my measurement of nose to ear in ear to xiphoid and that measurement would be for stomach placement. These tubes actually have markings on them with numbers, but if you're going to be putting this tube in for long term, a marking with a marker that's indelible would be the best thing to do. So I'm going to put a mark right there. That will be a one for stomach placement. The next measurement would be to take the tube and measure from the mid xiphoid to the mid axillary line. That would help to get the tube across the pylorus and into the first part of the duodenum. I'm going to put a second marking there. And then, depending on the size of the child, you want to add a few more centimeters onto the length of the tube to allow the tube to move forward closer to the jejunum. To approximate the jejunal or third marking from the duodenal or second marking, add the following centimeters. 5 to 7 centimeters for newborns, 7 to 10 centimeters for 1 to 4 years of age, and 10 centimeters for greater than 4 years.